Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey G97 and welcome to the video. Today's episode is we're going to be using the McLaren F1 GTR Grade 2 race car at Sardina 800. Uh, but first, before I get further into the episode, I will quickly show you guys uh, these three new tabs I have on the main menu. Of course, the update for tomorrow, the server's maintenance. Uh, but first, they have coming also on the 27th the first round of the eSports Olympics. If you guys are interested in that, just look at the full website for that for more details. Uh, on April the 30th will be round one of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup. Um, looks like they're going to use the Sprinter Torino around Fiji National Raceway. Same thing if you guys want to look at the full website on more details then you're more welcome to do so. And of course, also for tomorrow, will be the important April update. Uh, you can also see that some of the performance points might adjust, so we'll have to wait and see how all of that pans out. And uh, anyway, let's get started with the episode. Uh, to get the car, it'll only be in the legendary car dealership, and it's worth 11.4 million credits um, as of November of last year. Um, Here's the setup that I'll be using for this video. If you guys want to copy it, you're more than welcome to do so. Or if you want to adjust it on your own setting, you can do that too. Most of it is basically standard. Uh, we're using racing mediums for our tire choice. Uh, the front downforce all the way to the left, the rear downforce all the way to the right. Uh, we're using normal transmission. Uh, there's no turbocharger, so pretty basic, pretty simple. And just to show you guys of what the car's potential is, um, I do recommend mainly in most of these slow corners to be in third gear. Uh, if you go second gear, uh, there's a good chance that the rear uh, of the car will step out and the tires will lose traction and you'll easily be in a very rough scenario with the car with being very loose, not having the traction and the grip for the rear tires. Um, but I do recommend staying on third gear. It'll help the car to balance out just a little bit more. But as you see there, there is still that risk of having that little slight uh, snap effect of the rear of the car. Uh, this car is mainly more of a handling uh, setup as you can see. We just barely went over 170 miles per hour. Uh, it's not really a high top speed build. Uh, but it does handle very nicely, uh, especially through these tight corners, as we did a double order for a take before we're passing the Michelin Bridge. So the main uh, thing to do here is you'll mostly be in FEMAP 1 through the first stint of the race, and then when you do pit, you're going to then switch it to FEMAP 3, and then you should be able to be in FEMAP 3 for the rest of the race. Um, but you can just see the handling is great. Uh, tip for uh, the pit, lap 7, was the lap I was able to pit. As soon as you get across the finish line, automatically switch your fuel mode to 6. And you'll just can see the huge difference of the speed uh, not being really there, it's just muffled a good bit. Uh, but you're going to be in fuel map 6 i say probably over half the lap and then you'll dial it down back to fuel map 2 and then once you hit the main straight uh, for the pit entrance you'll then move it all the way back to fuel map 1 but despite that even though uh, driving this slower pace the car drives even fine it's very smooth very grippy and the tires are still holding up pretty nicely as well. But, like I said, just stay in third gear for most of these slow turns. Uh, that's what I really recommend doing. Not only will it help the car have a better balance, um, not having the rear end stepping out, but um, you'll also be saving fuel as well. So as you can see on the last turn, uh, Went a little wide there in that last turn. We moved down the fuel map to level one. So 
we're gonna make a pit stop as we go way wide to touch the grass and all you'll be doing here is that fuel um, but if you do want to change tires that would be a good idea as well but I decide just take a risk for it see what we could do um, with the car um, it still felt nice even though there's a little bit tire wear I really couldn't really tell a difference of the handling being tighter or looser or a major drop off just felt pretty nice still and always uh, make sure you check make sure the pits clear and that's basically it fast forward to the last lap the last few corners uh, as you can tell we're in about three uh, the rear tires are red as you can tell um, I could feel a little bit difference with it being fully red uh, the rear tires definitely did not have any traction you could also tell about lap 14 we did 137 so we were basically way off the pace um, compared to what we were doing early in the race but the car did smooth uh, as you saw there we did 24 26 minute run so a little bit faster than the Honda NSX that I did yesterday yesterday's video where we did 24.39 so we got the camera bonus and that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you guys want to check out my playlist it'll be on your left side of your screen and if you guys want to stick tuned and stay up to date of what I got planned uh, then go ahead and subscribe I'll also have a field tomorrow for the new update. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.